Welcome to video 10 in my Intro to HTML web video series. In this video, I'm going to talk about styling lists. In video 9, I talked about the basic syntax of lists, how lists are by nature nested items. You have list items nested inside of either ULs or OLs, and you can have lists nested inside of lists. This is what we saw in the previous video. We've got two lists. We've got an unordered list, which is above. It's the bulleted list. And we've got an ordered list below, which is a numbered list. And we have an ordered list nested inside of another ordered list. And when you nest a list inside of a list, it tabs the nested list over. So let's talk about styling this. The properties that I want to use for styling lists, I'm going to start with something called list style type. And then, I'll show, and then we'll talk about the basics. You can still use background color, you can still use color, uh, and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to start with list style type. If we go to the W3 website, list style type says that list style type property specifies the appearance of the list item marker if list style image has the value none, or if the image pointed to the, by the URL cannot be displayed. So in other words, list style type changes the bullet or the number on your list. Some of the values that you can use, you'll find right down here. Disk, circle, square, those are all the values for unordered lists. Decimal, decimal leading zero, lower Roman, upper Roman, lower Greek, lower Latin, upper Latin, Armenian, Georgian, lower alpha, upper alpha, none, or inherit. So let's take a look at list style type. So I've got my unordered list and I've got my ordered list. I'm going to start by styling the unordered list. So I'll select UL, establish my declaration block, list dash style dash type. That's what the property looks like, list style type with the dashes in between, colon, semicolon, obviously. And for the value, I'm going to choose lower alpha. Lower alpha. Lower alpha is going to be lower alphabetical. Oops, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing an unordered list here. I can't do alphabetical on an unordered list. Sorry about that. You can do disk, square, or circle. The default as you can see over here is a disk. A disk is just a filled in circle. I can change it to circle, which is an open circle, or I could change it to square, which is a filled in square. So you only have three options for an unordered list. Circle, disk, or square. We've got a lot more options for ordered lists. So I'm going to look at how ordered list works. Select OL for ordered list. Establish our declaration block. Our first declaration is going to be list style type. And as I said before, when I messed up, I'm going to choose lower alpha. Lower dash alpha. Save it and refresh it. And you can see that my numbers changed to ABCs, lowercase ABCs. I could also do upper alpha, which will make them uppercase. So I've got uppercase letters. Some of the other interesting ones, decimal, decimal leading zero. I'm going to copy decimal leading zero here for you so you can see what that looks like. save it, come over here and refresh it. So decimal leading zero will give us a decimal number with a zero before it. Decimal just gives us a number with a period after it. Some of the other options, Latin or Roman, We'll start with Lower Roman. Lower Roman is going to be 
Roman numerals. And then upper Roman will be just uppercase Roman numerals. You can experiment with these on your own time. Go through each of those different uh, values for the list style type property and see what kind of results you get. Now I'd like to move on. We've talked about lists by nature being a nested construct. You've got LIs, which create the bullets, nested inside of the UL element or the root element. The UL uh, establishes whether it is going to be a bulleted or numbered list, ordered or unordered. But we can also nest lists inside of lists. Let's say we wanted to change this nested list into an outline format where we have Roman numerals for the outer list items and then lower alphabetical ordering for the inner list items. So this gets a little bit tricky. First of all, for if I wanted to do Roman numerals, uppercase Roman numerals for the outer list items, I need to do this, change it to upper Roman. <clears throat> Refresh it. And now everything has changed to uppercase Roman. But I just want to change these three items here, the inner nested list, into lower alphabetical. There's a special type of a selector called a descendant selector. The way it works is this. OL, and then you can use the greater than symbol, and then OL. Think of this greater than symbol as an arrow that's pointing to the other OL. What this selector says is that all OLs that exist within, nested inside of other OLs, will have this style applied to it. Okay, so let's say I do this. List style type. Lower alpha. So I'm selecting the OLs which exist inside of other OLs and changing it to lowercase alpha. It's called descendant selection. So I've made uh, an outline format list where I've got Roman numerals on the outer nested list and ABCs on the inner nested list. Pretty cool. There are all sorts of things I can do with this. Let's say I wanted to make the inner nested list all sit on one line instead of um, each item on their own lines. I could do something like this. Select the LIs which exist within the LOs that exist within other OLs. And this is something that's new. I'm not going to really talk about it right now, but I'll just talk about it in a later video. Display inline. Save it. And those uh, LIs get forced to one line. But it didn't force all LIs on the page to one line. Only the LIs that exist within OLs that exist within OLs. I could do something like this. I'm going to take that out. Background color, pink. So only the LIs that exist within OLs that exist within other OLs will have a pink background color. All other LIs, if I want to select only other LIs, change their background color to yellow. It'd look like that. I just select LI. This will select all LIs. This will specifically select LIs that exist within the OLs that are nested inside of other OLs. So this is called descendant selection. It's a very powerful form of selection. You're going to use it a lot as you get more in depth in, in web design. So that's the basics of styling lists. We talked about the list style type property, and we also talked about descendant selection.